everyone and welcome to our new video. We are going to be making a tornado in a jar. So what is a tornado? A tornado is a violent and destructive storm that can last anywhere from a few minutes to a few hours. They are basically powerful winds that rotate in a funnel shaped cloud around a central point. And for today's video we're going to try to recreate that in our jar. So for our materials, we need a jar with a lid. It could be any recycled jar that you have, as long as it's clear, dish soap, water, vinegar. Food coloring is totally optional. Here are our materials. We have our mason jar with a lid. And here's me working behind the scenes. Let's get started. So we are gonna start with our jar. And we are going to make sure that we have a lid for it and grab our water and fill our jar about three-fourths of the way up. We want to have some space at the top because we will be shaking and rotating our jar a little bit and we don't want to create too much spillage plus we need a little room so that you can see the tornado. So that's about how much? It's about an inch and a half, two inches at the top. Step number two, we grab our teaspoon. I only have a fourth of a teaspoon, so I'm going to be using a few of those to complete one teaspoon of vinegar. So I just have a clear vinegar that I've cooked with before, and I'm going to add that in there. Measurements don't have to be super, super exact, and there's no real fancy way of doing this. Just add it to the jar. Now we have our liquid soap. We have been to have a blue one. If you have a different color, I don't think it really matters. And so we are adding one teaspoon of that as well. And there we go. And so for our final step, it's going to be to tighten up and seal our jar. We want to make sure that there's no spillage and we are ready to spin. Spin, 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 spin. And we have created our own tornado in a jar. And so the faster that you spin, the more you're going to be able to see it. And so keep spinning. Um, but at some point, our liquid soap is going to kind of mix in with the water and you won't be able to see it as clearly. But then we can kind of spill the water away and we can try it again if we want to. Good job. And so we tried it with blue food coloring and we saw that it didn't really work so well. But we went on to test it out anyway. And here we are testing our clear water, no food coloring, just soap, and it works super well. We hope you try this at home, and thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.